Hi, this is Ken from MyTajGarage.com. We're going to do something a little bit different today. Today we're going to remove the oil pump from a transmission. The transmission is actually off of a Chevy half-ton chassis. So let's take a look. What we got here is we got a 4L60E transmission that is already out of our Chevy Astro. And today what we're going to be doing is removing the oil pump assembly. And the reason why we're doing that is to be able to remove some to replace some of the gaskets because they got a really bad leak going on here. So here's what we need to do. After we have the transmission out of the van, we're going to set it up on end because we want to make sure that all the inside clutches and everything remain to the bottom. When you set that on end, sometimes you want to put it in a five gallon bucket. But what I've done here is I've actually uh, strapped it to an A-frame or some sort of device that I can lean it up against to make sure it doesn't move. I have an oil pan underneath the transmission to catch everything to make sure the oil doesn't go everywhere. Now the thing to note is that you can't pull the transmission oil pump without removing some of the things that are in the transmission itself. And I want to show you uh, what that means. What I've already done in preparing for this is I've removed the oil pan and I've also removed the oil filter. Now here's what we need to do. We need to remove a couple things in the transmission itself. There's an adapter here that's on the um, valve assembly that needs to come off. Now you go ahead and take the electrical wires off and you may think that it actually comes up but it doesn't. There's actually a little retaining clip in here that if you take a small screwdriver you need to be able to pop that retaining clip out just like that and this little valve assembly cap will come right out. Go ahead and set that aside. Next you need to be able to take off this torque converter um, solenoid or, or whatever it's called. There's a couple bolts. I already have them removed but you'll be able to pull that right out. Okay, Just let it hang to the side like that. After that, go ahead and take a little, a little attitude persuasion here with a little bit of a screwdriver. Pry up on this very gently, very lightly. Take a rubber mallet and go ahead and hit on the oil pump assembly itself and you'll see just like that, it pops right up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up on this and just very gently lift up and pull it up. And there's your oil pump assembly, comes right out. Now one of the things to note that there is a little plastic washer that will more than likely be sitting right down on some of the clutch plates, on some of the, uh, um, the insides of the transmission here. You got to be able to take that out. Make sure you got that. Now putting this in is basically everything in reverse. Now there's a couple things you need to be aware of. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean everything out around the, uh, the gasket. I got a new gasket that's going to come in. There is an O-ring that goes around the pump itself, which is giving me my problems. I'm going to go ahead and put a new O-ring in. I'm going to um, coat it in oil a little bit so she sits right in. When this thing goes back in, we want to make sure that this gasket, this plastic gasket, sits right on here. We may need to put a little bit of Vaseline on it. Um, I put a little bit of uh, lithium grease on it. Still got to figure this out a little bit, but most important thing is we want to make sure that this sits right down on here so when you turn it upside down, it doesn't fall off. For demonstration, I'm going to do the reverse. One thing to note here, I'm going to take a couple of uh, guides. I'm going to put a couple guides in. Got them ready to go. So when we put this in, we're going to set the gasket right on here first. I'll go ahead and take the old gasket for demonstration purposes and uh, set that on here like such. Now this is just for demonstration purposes. We're not going to keep that in there. And we're going to take the oil pump. We're going to put that on there. We're going to put a little, remember to put a little grease around that O-ring. We're going to set the uh, oil pump right in the guide that we put in. It's going to fall right in. Give her a little bit of push. She snaps in. We're going to go back in with the uh, torque converter solenoid. We're going to go put the valve chaining clip back on, the cap. We're going to put the cap in. We're going to go ahead and fasten in the electrical components. Remember to put the oil filter back in. We're going to clean the surface of the transmission housing. We're going to put our gasket and our oil pan back in. We're going to turn it up, turn it right side up and uh, get ready to mount it back in the van. So that's how you do it for a 4L60E transmission. and. Uh, if everything goes well, we'll be able to have this thing running this afternoon.